Hello and welcome to another episode of the Good Boxing Podcast coming to you from New York on Good Friday. And I hope you enjoy this episode. Roy Jones just called out Oscar De La Hoya for his exhibition match. Now, wow. I never thought Roy Jones would ever try to step in the ring with Oscar De La Hoya, but that is certainly a name that I'm very interested in seeing. When you look at it at first glance, you're like, wow, Roy Jones, Oscar De La Hoya. Um, the size difference is prevalent, but they're both around the same age, and I think the fight would sell well in terms of name notoriety, right? Roy Jones just came off that hot fight with Mike Tyson where the boxing world was a buzz, and we all bought it. I mean, I bought it. A lot of people bought it. I know a lot of people streamed the shit out of that fight because, I mean, crack streams, every streaming channel was shut down so much so. I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to buy it because, look, I'm not trying to deal with any buffering or things going up and down. And I'm not condoning streaming, but sometimes you don't know what you're going to expect. I kind of like to see more or less what's going on and then kind of make a decision. But the fight no one is talking about, and I just want to kind of touch on, and I think it's the perfect fight for Oscar, is this one. One of the biggest fights of Oscar's career. Sure, he had the fight with Trinidad. Sure, he had the fight with Hopkins. Sure, he had the fight with Oscar. um, Not Oscar De La Hoya. It is Oscar De La Hoya. Duh. Sure, he had the fight with Floyd Mayweather. But one of the biggest fights in terms of bad blood, in terms of legacy, in terms of when Oscar was making his campaign at 154 pounds, he had lost to Shane Mosley. He was outgunned against Trinidad, and he made a major, major shift in his career. He changed trainers to Floyd Mayweather Sr. And the fight he did that for was with who? Fernando Vargas. That's the fight I want to see. Think of it. You got Fernando Vargas versus Oscar De La Hoya too. Both guys are pretty much contemporaries. Both guys have not fought fought since Um, they retired. And this fight has box office written all over it. You got two Mexican warriors going at it. Bad blood. Oscar De La Hoya won the first fight. He knocked out um, Fernando Vargas in spectacular fashion. You already know the bad blood. You know the drama. But the reason why I think this fight makes so much sense is this. Oscar gets a nice, I'm not going to sit here and say it's an easy fight because we don't know what Fernando Vargas is doing. I saw him boxing a little bit, but you don't really know, know what he's been up to, right? You don't really know what Oscar's been up to. You've seen little clips here and there, but the sizzle reels aren't the same thing. Look back at the Mike Tyson promo. When you looked at that fight, you saw the cuts, you saw the edits, you saw ferocious old Mike Tyson You saw, wow, he's so fast. Then you saw the fight and you saw the real Mike Tyson. So we don't know more or less what's going on yet. But the reason why I think it would make perfect sense is this. One, Fernando Vargas is going to be willing to fight Oscar De La Hoya. Why? Because one, he's already fought him once. He has a bone to pick with him too, right? Three, his sons. He has three sons that are looking to be very, very prominent pros. They're looking to expound and basically expand the Vargas brand. And Oscar De La Hoya arguably is one of the biggest brands in boxing history. He's made so much money. He's generated so much money. And coming back, you saw the most downloads of Triller. You see that he is box office. I mean, he has a bunch of followers on social media. Everyone knows Oscar De La Hoya, especially when you were in boxing in the 2000s and the 90s, right? Late 90s. So why not fight Fernando Vargas? You get a fight that you know you're going to get credibility for. You're going to get the Mexican community behind you, right? You're going to get basically worldwide support on this fight because it's a throwback fight. Nostalgia is selling very, very well. Fernando Vargas versus Oscar De La Hoya too. People will eat it. I know I'll buy it, right? But when I'm talking about his sons, you have to get your name back out there. And why not fight in order to help build the brand of the future? Emiliano, you got Amado Vargas. You have Fernando Vargas Jr. 
if Daddy Vargas decides to fight, you're only going to expand their brand too. People are going to remember who you are. They're going to look at your old fights. And then who are they going to look at? Oh, this is Vargas' son that just fought Oscar De La Hoya on Triller. You get that whole brand. You get that whole notoriety with the people that will watch the future. The people that will stream the fights on Facebook Watch or ESPN Watch or whatever streaming service that the Vargas boys are fighting on. So it makes sense. It makes sense for both parties. And honestly, I would rather see Oscar De La Hoya fight Fernando Vargas again, right? Because you know they're going to go after. You know Vargas is a tough motherfucker. He's going to go after Oscar De La Hoya. And Oscar De La Hoya, too, has something to prove, and he may end up knocking Vargas out and vice versa. You never know. But the fight is going to be a legit exhibition fight. It's not going to be the Roy Jones versus Mike Tyson. You're going to see two guys that have bad blood. Um, Fernando Vargas will never forget what happened when Oscar De La Hoya knocked him out that night. And if he knows he's putting the Vargas name on his back and he wants to promote his sons and he wants to get everything out there, I think this fight makes perfect sense for all parties. And even Oscar, it's not the hardest of fights. I feel like Roy Jones has been a little more active than you. I feel like he could give some issues to you because he's not rusty. He's been in the ring several times since he retired. Um, he has just recently fought Mike Tyson in an exhibition and Tyson was substantially bigger than him. So I don't think Oscar De La Hoya is going to pose as much of a physical threat to Roy Jones. And I think it's just not going to be as good as if Oscar just fought someone who kind of hasn't been in the ring with them like him and just someone that you have bad blood with. It's such an easier fight to sell. I mean, look at Camacho fighting. Camacho Jr. is fighting Chavez Jr. That's a nostalgic old school Mexican battle. How many times Eric Morales, right, just fought Mikey Garcia in an exhibition? People are willing to pay for fights that they remember, of fighters that they remember. So I think this fight actually makes a lot of sense. And let me know what you think. I was just kind of brainstorming, wanted to come up with an idea. And let me know if you think it's plausible. Let me know what you think. I think it makes sense. But again, I'm just a person. I, my opinion is just as valid as yours. And I just rather you listen to what I say and think it makes sense and question it feel free to rip on it feel free to agree with me whatever i appreciate it this is the episode for today what do you think um roy jones called out oscar de la hoya but what do you think about fernando vargas fighting oscar de la hoya instead i think that's a better fight i think it's a good good way to kind of promote his sons and get the vargas name back into prominence let me know your thoughts. Feel free to follow the podcast on Instagram at Good Boxing Podcast. And if you want to see my facial expressions, you want to see all the fun stuff that's coming, feel free to subscribe. I promise you the stuff coming is going to be good. Good Boxing Podcast on YouTube. Thank you so much. Have a very, very happy weekend and happy holiday. Be well.